Hi, I'm Professor Catherine Hill. I'm a consultant rheumatologist at Carlin, and my other role is as medical advisor for Arthritis SA. A rheumatologist is a specialist who looks after people with musculoskeletal conditions, and that can be a wide variety from different types of arthritis, um, which can affect any of the joints in our body, including the spine. And we also look after patients with connective tissue diseases. And those are rarer conditions, such as lupus, scleroderma, and myositis. Polymyalgia rheumatica actually means pain in many muscles, and it's caused by inflammation, particularly around the shoulders and, and the hips. And often people will have a lot of early morning stiffness when they get out of bed, it's really hard to get out of bed, and an achiness and a fatigue. At present, we have only one medication to treat polymyalgia rheumatica, and that's corticosteroids. So, Steroids work really well for this condition, but patients often have to be on it for quite a long time, you know, 12 to 18 months. And steroids cause a lot of side effects like weight gain, um, skin thinning, high blood pressure and high glucose levels, as well as um, increased risk of infections. So we are always looking for a, a new way of treating polymyodramaticus where we can reduce the amount of glucocorticoids people take. Yeah, at present there are no other um, proven treatments for um, polymyodramatica apart from steroids. So that's a problem. We are about to embark on a, a large study of a medication called methotrexate which we use um, widely in rheumatoid arthritis. Methotrexate also reduces inflammation the same way steroids do. It takes longer to work but doesn't have as many side effects um, and we are hoping that that will reduce the amount of um, steroids that um, patients will have to have and make their polymyalgia go away quicker. It's an exciting opportunity for us because we got a, a large NIHR and NHMRC grant and we're collaborating with the University of Leeds and 18 other rheumatology sites in the UK and three sites in Australia and we're leading the Australian component.